for being here. And I won't list the dignitaries, but I acknowledge all of them for being here and all of you VIPs in the room today. Also acknowledge the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation as the traditional custodians of this land. My name is Ellen Sandal and I am the State Member of Parliament for Melbourne, representing the Greens. So welcome to my hood. Thank you for holding this event here. I didn't come in um, traditional African dress, although I have to say that I do feel very um, fashionably challenged when I come to events like this because you all look so wonderful. But I did come in traditional Melbourne dress, which is black from head to toe. That's my contribution. I'd also like to say assalamu alaikum and hello to all our friends who are observing Ramadan this month as well. It's been a pleasure to join so many iftars and I very much look forward to Eid celebrations later on this month as well. So as you would know, my area of Inner Melbourne is home to a very strong community of people who have come here from Africa. People from Eritrea, from Ethiopia, from Oromia, from Somalia, from so many other countries. And getting to know this community has been one of the absolute joys of my job. Honestly, it has been so wonderful to go to iftars, to go to Eid celebrations, to go to Independence Day celebrations, and of course, to come to Africa Day every year. And I've been here since it started. It has been so amazing to be part of this community and I have always felt so, so welcome in the African-Australian community. And so when I heard Peter Dutton say those words about African gangs taking over Melbourne and how people were afraid to go outside, of course I was sad like many of you were, but also I have to say I did have a bit of a laugh because when I walked down my local street on Racecourse Road in Flemington, all I saw were um, Ethiopian and Somali restaurants filled with people. All I saw was the local primary school where African-Australian kids mix with every other kid and go to the same classes in the same classrooms and where kids are playing side by side in JJ Holland Park and Debney Park. This is the real community. And Peter Dutton, if he thinks that we're afraid to go outside. He clearly doesn't know Melbourne, yeah? Because if he did know Melbourne, he'd know that our community is united, even though we are diverse. He'd know that our community is strong and understanding and that we actually help each other out and we actually like living in a place that is multicultural. And I know that we have challenges. The Premier's mentioned some of them, as did the Minister. I see people every week who come into my office who struggle to get into public housing because our public housing is overflowing and overcrowded. I see people every week come into my office who are struggling to find a job because of their name or the colour of their skin. And this is not okay. And we need governments who are going to stand up and actually take action against this. And I commend the government for the action that they have taken. But I know because I've seen it over the last three and a half years, that it's all of you that are working to solve these challenges. You are working incredibly hard and governments need to step up to match what you are doing to actually commit actions and funding to ensure that everybody in Australia has the same opportunity to employment, to education, to housing. And I commit, and the Greens commit, to working with the government and with all of you to making that a reality. We have always stood side by side with the African Australian community and we will always continue to do so. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. Thank you for everything you give to our incredible city of Melbourne. You make my life uh, a better life. You enrich our city, you enrich our communities and I cannot thank you enough.